Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to see how to split columns in Power BI Desktop. Alright, so let's get started off. So once we have imported the data using the Get Data tab, Power, Power BI makes sure that different tables are being created. Now let's take for an example, in one of the data table, in one of the column, I have the name of some can candidates, right? So that name will include the first name and the last name. But what I have to do is that I need a column in which uh, one column should consist all the first name and another column should consist the last name. So in order to this, split this column, Power BI Desktop makes sure that we have to use this query editor option. In the query editor option, we can split this column very easily. And how we basically split this, there are two ways of splitting the column. The first being, uh, we can split the column by a delimiter or the second is, so we can split the column by the position deciding the position where you want the split to happen we can do the split accordingly now let's take for an example for the delimiter now once we have a column in which i have certain delimiters delimiters such as commas equals to time semicolon or a colon or a space those are the delimiter types with the help of which we can split the column so simply you have to right click on the column and click on split columns and out there you will be finding an option of delimiter if you choose a delimiter and if you choose the proper delimiter it will give you the column split very easily the second method is splitting the column by position so we have to decide this time whether you want the third character to be split or the fourth character so we can be very much specific when we have to split the column according to the number of characters which I want so this is is used when I am sure that I just want to split the first three characters or the first four characters in a certain column we'll be having a better understanding about how to split columns in our practical approach hello friends and welcome in this video we are going to learn how to split column in power bi in order to do that i will move to the power query editor all right which we can see here right now so this is my power query editor and in the, under this you can see the queries which we can see out here on the extreme left hand side of your screen that is my queries pane i will move on to the product query and under the product query we will split this product column and how to do that i will hel help you in that so in order to split a column i will go to that particular column header i will simply right click on it and after i right click on it there is an option known as split column now out here you can see two option by delimiter and by number of characters by limiter will help me if we have certain kind of delimiter just like a hyphen a comma a space or a full stop so these are known as a delimiter which can be used for a splitting purpose or we can also define the number of characters that how many number of characters that you want in that particular column I'll start off with the delimiter and I'll give you clarification on by numbers as well so let me start off with delimiters the moment I click on delimiters, uh, another window will open up right in front of you and the first thing it will ask you for uh, select or enter the delimiter. So if I click on this drop down menu, as I've told you that the delimiter can be anything, it can be a colon, comma, equals to sign, semicolon, space or tab. You can also define your own delimiter by def by clicking on custom if I click on customer and if and if I define that what is the delimiter it will take that as a delimiter and it will help you to split your column as of now I will take here as a space as my delimiter and I'll go to the leftmost delimiter uh, now this is the leftmost delimiter we have rightmost delimiter as well and there is something called as each occurrence of the delimiter let's say that if I have a sentence and if I want to split that sentence into different columns so at that time I will use each occurrence of that delimiter but as of now I will simply click on the leftmost delimiter and I simply hit ok the moment I hit ok you can see the changes out here I simply hit ok now as you can see this particular column has been divided into product 1 and product 2 which in which the separator factor was space so the any character which was before space has come into the product one column and the remaining character in the product two column all right so 
the split has been done out here easily also you, on the right hand side on the applied step you can see the split column as delimiter and they have changed the product type as well all right so this is how you split column using the delimiter now let me show you how it is done using the number of characters specified number of characters so let me undo these changes so i have my column ready right here in front of me i will again right click on this column and i'll go to split column and this time i will choose by number of characters all right so out here you can see another window popping up popping up right in front of you and out here you can define that number how many number of characters that you want in this particular uh, column so let's say that we will just want the first three uh, we are taking it as an example so I will just uh, give the instruction that I just want the first three characters from the extreme left hand side so I will just get a double B as in one column and the rest of the uh, data in another column let's see so I have numbered the number of characters that which I want will be three if I go under the advanced tab it can split into columns it can split into rows but as of now I want just the split of the columns so I select column I simply hit OK now you can see ABB as the product one category out here so the moment I hit OK do you see there's a product one which has just taken the first three character of this uh, particular column and the rest of the data has been tr shifted to another column out here so this is how you split the column in power bi all right guys so this was all for this video see you until next time